All new at 6, preliminary numbers show the recent flooding over the past two months has cost Hidalgo County more than $10 million, and that doesn't even include the biggest storm that occurred Friday, June 19th. Action 4's Brett Crandall breaks down the cost and explains who is eligible for help. Yeah, Marcy, good news for those who are registering, registering for individual assistance with FEMA here at the Disaster Recovery Center. This afternoon, the county just got word that the presidential disaster declaration has been expanded to cover damages sustained by the June 19th storm, which will likely bring millions of more dollars in relief money to the valley. Last week, Hidalgo County officials submitted a preliminary estimated cost the county has incurred due to excessive rain and flooding that began in early May. From pump operations to rescues, costs have surged to more than $10 million. Hidalgo County Emergency Management Coordinator Rick Saldana says the biggest expense comes from damaged roads. The water standing on the roadway and then the, the vehicle traffic and the weight of the vehicles causing the, the damage to it. That's the biggest impact. But the figures made public on Monday are just the beginning. The costs incurred after the biggest storm of the season, June 19th, have not yet been calculated. Saldana says it's likely to double the estimate. There was a lot more expenditures than incurred from the 19th on, and it's still going on to date. With the declaration period now expanded, really Saldana nice. encourages anyone with damaged property to apply with FEMA, even those who may have previously been rejected. If you feel they didn't give you enough money, come appeal the amount that they, they had forwarded you. We encourage you to make those appeals, to get the, the, the most amount that you can for the repairs of your home. So far, 2,300 Hidalgo County residents have applied for help from FEMA, and almost $1 million in relief funds have been approved for individual assistance. With such a demand, FEMA's Disaster Recovery Center will be moving to a bigger building. The amount of agencies we have in the current facility, it has become too cramped, and the amount of applicants that have come The early voting polling location here in Edinburgh will continue to serve as the DRC on Tuesday, but Wednesday operations will move to the UTPA CESS building located near the intersection of US 281 southbound frontage road and Freddy Gonzalez. Now remember as well that the DRC will be closed Friday, Saturday and Sunday in celebration of Independence Day holiday weekend. Live in Hidalgo County, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.